Welcome back to Motorhoming in the Slow Lane. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and this is Lee. In 2020, we bought our first motorhome, Sophia, and we travel as much as we can with our two crazy beagles, Lexi and Bella. If you're new here, why not hit the subscribe button? and follow along. Welcome back to Motorhoming in the Slow Lane. Happy New Year to you all. We hope that you've had a lovely Christmas. This is our first trip away of 2022. So it's the uh, first weekend of January and we are on our way to the Imperial War Museum at Duxford where we'll be uh, spending the day tomorrow. Uh, currently we're parked up. This is our first pub stopover. So we're at the Airman Hotel and we will be here for the night. So as you can see, we are on a different couch to normal. Uh, we've left the dogs at home. Um, it wasn't fair to bring them. You know, we're going to be there for a long time tomorrow. So we're doing our first weekend ever away in Sofia. So all we're going to do tonight, so we've, we've not finished work, got in the van, driven all down here, um, and we're just going to get some dinner. So I'm just cooking dinner, and I just want you to check these tickets for me to, for tomorrow. Can you just check them all for me? I just need you to check them. Is the first one okay? Yes. Okay, what about the next one? Next one okay? Yes. What about the last one? <gasps> oh. In the cockpit, Avro Vulcan. Ooh. That's a special treat. How's that happening? So in February, it's Lee's birthday um, and I've arranged for you tomorrow to have 15 minutes in the cockpit of the Vulcan. You get a half an hour meeting outside with um, a Vulcan pilot, I think, who's going to talk you through everything. And then fingers crossed, take you up through the little hatch and then in the Vulcan for around 15 minutes to find out lots of information and take photos for wow. your birthday. Thank you, darling. I'm looking forward to that. I just hope you fit because the dimensions that they've sent me are very, very small. <laughs> <laughs> very, very small. Well, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to that. You're welcome. been naughty haven't you yeah good morning not a bad view to wake up to in a hotel car park we're going to start this morning with some coffee that is nicely brewing over there and lee is currently in the shower and then i'm going to go into the hotel and pay 15 pounds to the lady so sophia the lovely hotel and the car park just paid the lady £15, now off to Duxford. Good morning everybody and uh, welcome to IWM Duxford. Here we are for the day. So this is really interesting. So these are Montgomery's own personal caravans that he used in the Second World War. This first one is one he captured from the Italians and is his own personal um, caravan with his sleeping quarters in. So I guess this is Monty's own motorhome. And then over here we've got Monty's office and over there is map room. But you can see here that this was uh, quite comfortable, probably more comfortable than Sophia. And he would give this up for only two people, one being the king and the other being Winston Churchill himself.
one of my favourite displays here is the old airliners. Unfortunately, at this time of year, you can't get on them. Uh, but some good examples of some old airliners as they used to be. So we're just in the airspace part of the museum now and we've just had a look at the Spitfire collection which is a special exhibition until the end of next month. Right, so just behind me you'll see the uh, Avro Vulcan um, and as you would have seen last night I'm lucky enough and being treated to going into the cockpit um, later on this afternoon so uh, in a minute you'll see me trying to squeeze into that hatch but there is the Vulcan one of my favorite planes of all time Here we are, we're on the prototype Concorde that was used for testing. So this wasn't fitted with emergency slides, so if you had to get off on the ground in an emergency, you're down to a rope ladder. We've just arrived at the Ruddy Duck pub in, I think you pronounce it Peakirk, um, on the outskirts of Peterborough. Uh, we're here uh, for the night, so we're going in for a meal uh, shortly. Lee's dad is here, so we're going to have a meal with some family. Um, Lee had probably one of the best days, I think, in his life. I'll get him to tell you about that a bit later. Uh, Duxford was amazing. It literally pissed down with rain all day. Uh, but we had a really good day so I will hand over to Lee so he can tell you all about his Vulcan experience. So we've had a fantastic day as Sarah said Duxford was fantastic we've walked and walked and walked we got there at 10 o'clock when it opened and we were there well past the closing time um, my Vulcan experience was absolutely amazing uh, the lady that gave us the talk um, outside the Vulcan she just knew absolutely everything there was um, then she took me up into the cockpit, we had a good look around the cockpit um, and the other areas inside the Vulcan. Uh, climbing up into the cockpit was a real tight squeeze, there's a real technique to it um, and it, it was just really amazing to see what those crews um, worked like um, whilst the Vulcan was in service. Um, I've had a fantastic day, a real birthday treat, really enjoyed um, learning and, and walking around the Vulcan or crawling around the Vulcan. Um, and learning all that sort of stuff. So um, like Sarah said, the next thing to do is have a nice family dinner in a pub. So good morning, it's uh, now Sunday morning. This is our first weekend away um, and we're waking up in the car park of the Ruddy Duck pub. Um, we had a beautiful meal in the pub last night, really nice local uh, country pub and um, yeah, very peaceful night in the car park. Just waking up to a very fresh morning, so warm coffee, the heater is uh, on full at the moment and uh, we will be leaving here shortly to go and uh, see my dad for some uh, breakfast and uh, then we'll be making our way back to Swindon. So this is where Sophia was last night, Lee's just doing all of our 
three departure checks before we leave. We had that beautiful view this morning when we woke up. This is the ample car park that you have. And that's the, the pub just there. Highly recommend it. Hello everyone, so that is a wrap then. So it's now Sunday evening, we're back home. Uh, just getting Sophia ready to go back into storage. We've got a couple of jobs before we do that. Um, we've had a fantastic weekend. Ducks for yesterday. Uh, a nice meal in the pub last night with some family. Two pub stopovers um, and a nice day today. Good breakfast. And uh, one of the reasons we were in Lincolnshire actually was to pick up our daughter's first car. So I've just taken her out for her very first driving lesson, which was a bit exciting, if not a bit fraught. Um, it's good to be back in the van. So uh, 2022 promises to be a really good year. We've got lots planned, lots going on, on culminating in a trip to Spain at the end of the year, but lots to do before that as well. Um, and some van upgrades going on this year as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a quick weekend away, but um, if you have, if you do like the video, please press the like button. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with us, hit the subscribe button and we will see you on the road very soon.